535 is the time down the Coachella Valley Firebirds are on the path to the Calder Cup again tonight. The team set to face off against the Calgary Wranglers in game three, round two. Now, News Channel 3's Allie Anthony is in Palm Desert this morning outside Acrisure Arena as the birds look forward to this uh, latest chance to uh, take another win. Good morning. Good morning, Jeff. We've got competition in round two. The Firebirds are one and one against the Wranglers going into game three here at Acrisure. And we are hanging on. We're trying to make it all the way to the championship and this year hopefully leaving with a dub. These two teams are rivals and it's showing in this series. What we saw last week, a tough four to one loss on Friday and a rally for a win on Sunday. Devin Shore with that walk off goal in OT, the Firebirds came up on top three to four. And this is just how playoff hockey goes. Two powerful teams giving it their all and what the Firebirds need for a win tonight. Well, according to the team they got to play fast limit turnovers and be aggressive on offense here's what they say about tonight's face off they took the first game and, and the second game went to overtime um, so they, they're uh, and there are there stretches of, of games where they they're kind of taking it to us so after after a loss you try not to get too low after a win you try not to get too high you got to stay even keel and um, prepare the same way for each game and um, it's going to be a battle uh, we just got to stay on it, play fast. I think that's the biggest key to our game is, is just playing really fast. A lot is on the line here. The team that wins tonight is one step closer to taking the series, and the Firebirds say they're taking this thing one game at a time, and they're playing with confidence. I'm live in Palm Desert, Ali Anthony, News Channel 3. Okay, we need the fans to uh, show up out there as well to uh, root them on. Should be a, a great game on the ice, and again, it's going to be a, a great game. You can see it tonight on News Channel 3, game time, 7 o'clock.